This big happy show you're putting on, it's not working. She's too smart. We do it because we love her, Dr. Feller. We don't want her to get hurt. And when you separate, she's not going to be hurt? I know she will. But we... We can't communicate. We've just... We've grown apart. There's no spark anymore. So your marriage is going through a rough patch right now. But this is the most important relationship in your life. It takes work. We have worked. We went to counseling for a month. It didn't help. Then get a better therapist. Try again. We shouldn't stay together for the sake of Lindsay. Are your problems so huge and insurmountable? You have a beautiful child. Are you willing to sacrifice her happiness for yours? My father was abusive, alcoholic, neglectful. Those are reasons to break up a marriage. But Lindsay's parents, I mean, they're just tossing around stale cliches. I don't know the extent of their problems, what's going on exactly, you know, between them. I know, I know, but it just feels like they're giving up too easily. You know, break up a family? I mean, they made a commitment to themselves and to Lindsay. I think that if their marriage is in trouble, they should do everything they possibly can to fix it. If you... experience once. The beach. The... Okay. But don't. What do you mean, don't? All right, how do you guys think they got there? Don't know. But I sent the car to bring them back, and you can bet we're going to find out. This is, this is unbelievable. My feet are filthy. So now we're sleepwalking? Honey, do you remember anything about last night? 
Go to sleep. Woke up here. Me too. You think sleepwalking's a genetic thing? Who knows? Unbelievable. <sighs> I know what happened. You slipped something in my coffee and brought me out here after I passed out. Yeah, that's it. I slipped you a Mickey and then dragged your big hulking body out past the cops and flagged down a car. <laughs> Could happen. That's a very sporty look on you, by the way. You like that? I'm gonna tell you, flannel becomes you too, June. You look, uh... You look good. Lindsay was telling the truth when it happened to her. We don't remember anything except falling asleep here last night in separate rooms. Next thing you know, we wake up together at Crystal Cove. We were married on that beach. Sean proposed to me a few months earlier. We decided to have this ceremony there, too. That is incredible. It's... it's incredible. Yeah, well, there's always been something special about that place. You sit on that beach, the ocean, stars you gain a new perspective somehow feel recharged that's nice but it don't change a thing I'm still gonna keep an eye on you you're home Lindsay what happened nothing sweetheart we're fine so where'd you wake up some place that reminded us how lucky we are to have you. You know, while we were waiting out on the beach that night, we did some talking, and we're gonna give it another try. Except this time, we're gonna try a lot harder. For Martin Henderson. Not here anymore. Do you know where I can find him? Rolling Glen, I suppose. Rolling Glen? Yeah. Cemetery. <laughs> Died. We go Monday. Oh. Oh. A week ago. Who are you anyway? Daughter. Henderson lived here for years. Never said anything about a daughter. Oh. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's personal effects. I was about to toss him. Good thing you stopped by today. Thank you. If you Peg? Hi. You all right? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I got an address from my father, and I went there. Oh, yeah? Well, I found out that... 